Brewstew.com. When I was a junior in high school, I would uh, take the bus because I was a loser. And uh, that's what losers do is they take the bus in high school. And on uh, one particular day, I was an hour late for school, but I didn't even realize it. How didn't I realize it, you ask? Well, uh, well, mostly because I'm an idiot. Probably because of that. But uh, also, I had a bad habit of only looking at the last two digits on that fucking alarm clock in my room. Because there's a, uh, a big difference between 625 and 725 in the morning. One means, uh, one means I'm on time for school, and the other one means I'm not fucking going to school. Fuck it. I'm already an hour late. I might as well just go home, eat a bowl of Fruit Loops, and watch uh, some divorce court. So on this particular day, I glanced at my clock when I woke up and I thought I said 6.25 like it always does. So I start walking down the street. I'm already an hour late, don't even realize it yet. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, man, it's, it's a lot brighter out than it usually is. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Just totally oblivious to, uh, to how stupid I am. And then I get to my bus stop and uh, things get a little weirder. Because in high school, my bus stop was situated in front of an abortion clinic. Yeah, I know, not uh, not really what you want in a bus stop. But there'd be this old guy with a, uh, a big wooden cross that would be standing outside protesting it while I'm sitting there waiting for the bus. Every fucking day. The damn bus would go past me on some days because uh, they thought I was affiliated with, uh, with Psychopath over there who's got pictures of uh, dead babies and aborted fetuses. Just vroom, right past me. See ya. See ya later. Hey, you're ruining my life. Can you fucking stop? But anyways, that guy wasn't there at the bus stop, so you'd think that would be a good heads up like, ah. Oh. Hey, I'm fucking late, that's the problem, but no. I was like, what the hell's going on? Where's old man Clemens at? Is there a fucking zombie apocalypse happening? What's going on? So a bus eventually does come, and I do get on that bus. And instead of a bunch of kids being on this bus, there's, uh, there's a bunch of old people instead. Nope, still don't get it. Still not comprehending what's going on here. I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's like the plot of a shitty Goosebumps book. I was like, all my friends turned into old people. Oh, no. So I take a seat next to the uh, person that smells the least like pee. And we get towards the school and the bus driver is even like, uh, you want to get off here, idiot? And I'm like, yeah, boy, do I? I get off the bus and I'm like, holy smokes. There's no kids in front of the school either. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, there's no way this guy's that fucking dumb. Well, guess what? You're fucking wrong, because I am that dumb. My brain's like, uh, it's a it's a bomb threat. Yeah, it's gotta be a bomb threat. No, no, maybe, uh, maybe terrorists. Yeah, there's terrorists in my school. So I bust through the front door of my school, looking for any trace of a bomb-wielding terrorist or fucking Somali pirates or something. I start heading towards the office like a uh, drunken hardy boy, trying to crack the dumbest case you ever heard of. And I'm just about to get to the office, and, and I stop, and I look at the clock that's right above the door. And I'm looking at it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm fucking late. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, I cracked that case. Look out, Walker. I got this one. Thank fucking God I figured it out because I was about to bust into that office door and be like, Where's all your damn people at? Is this real? Am I real? Somebody help me, God damn it! Oh, and I just wanted to say that uh, when I record these, I, uh, I type things into my phone when I'm at work to, uh, to help jog my memory when I record them. And I typed in bus stop abortion into my phone. And I was like, holy shit, that sounds awful. That sounds like the worst experience somebody's ever had in their life. It also sounds like a pretty good name for a punk band. So uh, if you're a punk band out there, utilize that name.